Today we will be discussing about the topic bacterial plasmids. The term plasmids was first coined by Joshua Lederberg in the year 1952. So what are plasmids? They are short, circular and double stranded segment of DNA that is found in the cytoplasm separate from the main bacterial chromosome. So as we all know bacteria have a main bacterial chromosome. So additional to that this main bacterial chromosome we can see plasmids. So they are very similar to this bacterial chromosome but short, circular and double stranded. So how plasmids replicate? They replicate in the same way as the main bacterial chromosome does. So usually they undergo binary fission. These are the plasmids and they undergo binary fission uh, uh, along with the cell division and they will get divided. They carry genes that direct their own replication and additional factors. So these additional factors ensure that the copies get separated into new daughter cells. And it also ensures that plasmids are not lost from cells during binary fission. Then what are the features of bacterial plasmids? Their size varies from 1 to over 1000 kbp and it contains 5 to 100 genes. And they carry genes that are useful but not essential for survival. That is, the bacteria can survive without plasmids but they contain many useful factors. For example, some plasmids contain antibiotic resistant genes. So, as long as bacteria is thriving in a low stress environment, removing all the plasmids would not affect the ability of bacteria to survive in that particular stress environment. So, in general, plasmids are non-essential extra chromosomal pieces of DNA. Moving on to the classification of bacterial plasmids. First classification is based on the ability to transfer to other bacteria. So they are classified into conjugative plasmids, non-conjugative plasmids and mobilizable plasmids. First one is conjugative plasmids. So as the name suggests, they perform conjugation and transfer of plasmids to, plasmids to another bacteria. For example, F plasmids. Second one is non-conjugative plasmids. So they are incapable of initiating a conjugation. So hence they can be transferred only into only with the assistance of conjugative plasmids. Example, R plasmids. Next is mobilizable plasmids. Uh, they are intermediate class. They carry a subset of genes required for the transfer. They parasitize another plasmid and transfer at high frequency in the presence of conjugated plasmid. Next classification is based on function. They are classified into degradative plasmids, virulence plasmids, fertility or F plasmids, resistance or R plasmids and cold plasmids. The first one is degradative plasmids. So they digest unusual substances like toluene and salicylic acid. Example, toll plasmid of Pseudomonas. Second one is virulence plasmids. They contain VIR genes, vir genes. So these help in the pathogenicity of that particular bacteria. Example, TI and RI plasmids. Next is fertility plasmids. They contain TRA genes, TRA genes. They are capable of conjugation and result in the expression of sex pile. Example, F plasmid of E. coli. Next is resistance or R plasmids. They contain genes that provide resistance against antibiotic or poisons. Historically, they are known as R factors. Next is cold plasmids. They contain genes that code for bactericins and toxins that can kill other bacteria. Example, call E1. And the next classification is based on copy number. Two types are there, stringent plasmids and relaxed plasmids. First one is stringent plasmids. They replicate only along with the main bacterial chromosome and is present as single copy or at most several copies per cell may present. 
Next is relaxed plasmid. They replicate within a cell independently of the chromosomal DNA replication. Thus, multiple copies of plasmids are present. And the last classification is based on compatibility. Plasmids usually coexist in a single cell. In, in E. coli, different, uh, different types of plasmids are found within a cell. Usually, related plasmids are incompatible in the sense that only one of them will survive in the cell line due to the regulation of vital plasmid functions. Thus, plasmids can be assigned into non-compatible or incompatible groups. Moving on to the uses of bacterial plasmids. They are used as tools in genetic and biotechnology labs. That is, they are commonly used in genetic engineering to multiply and express a particular genes, usually the gene of interest. Next, they can be used as disease models. That is, for example, for genetic engineering, the embryonic stem cells in rats and to treat rat genetic disease models. Their next use is in gene therapy. The plasmid vectors are used for insertion of therapeutic genes at pre-selected genes or pre-selected chromosomal target sites in human genome. Next function is to make large amount of proteins. The researchers grow bacteria with plasmids harboring the gene of interest. For example, uh, for manufacturing insulin, antibiotics, etc. That's all about bacterial plasmids. Thank you.